Welcome. In this playthrough of Marvel Champions of Card Game, we have Ironheart teaming up with Nova to take on an expert, Kang the Conqueror. So down at the table for our villain setup, Kang does things a lot differently. We have to go through three different versions of Kang. And in the middle, we're going to split into different groups. So each of us is going to have a different random villain coming after us. So for his main scheme, we have Kang, Standard Encounter Sets, Experts, and Temporal. Set up, we're setting the twos and three versions aside along with the Kang's Dominion cards. Uh, remove each player's obligation cards from the game and shuffle the encounter deck. And on this side, seven threat per player. When revealed, deal each player an encounter card. So Kang is starting out with 15 health per player. Schema one, attack of three, toughness. When he attacks, either place a threat on the main scheme or he gets plus two for this attack. When defeated, advance the main scheme to stage two at the end of the phase. And for our hero deck construction, we have Ironheart with Aggression, Novo with Justice. Ironheart, of course, has three versions, starting with version one. Four to one, attack of two, defense of three, level up. Uh, remove six progress counters from Ironheart. Ready her and swap her with version two. Hand size of four. Alter Ego side, recovery of three. We're beginning the game with this card, setting the others aside. She's a child prodigy. As an action, spend a mental resource, place a progress counter on Riri once per round, hand size of six, and the health of ten. For the aggression cards, two power of aggression, three dive bombs, three pitchbacks, three no quarters, hone technique, salt training, then we have Marvel Boy, Spider Girl, Tigra, Bug, Throg, The Locust, and Thor. And then for our basic cards, our three dual resources, Ingenuity, and a Helicarrier. Then for Nova, Thwart of One, Attack of One, Defense of Two, Response, after you use one of Nova's basic powers, Ready Supernova Helmet, Hand Size of Five, Hit Points of Ten, Alter Ego, Recovery of Three, Civilian, it's an Alter Ego action, spin a resource of any type, search your deck and discard pile for a Supernova Helmet, add it to your hand, put it into play instead if you paid for this using a Wild Resource, and a Hand Size of Six. For the Justice cards, we have Two Power of Justice, Three Yawn Rolls, three Clear the Areas, Spycraft, Skilled Investigator, Multitasking, Sense of Justice, Determination, Under Surveillance, Quasar, Colson, Wiccan, Arrows, Wasp, and Quake. And for basics, our dual resources, Endurance, and a Downtime. All right, finishing our setup, shuffling our encounter deck, then each of us is going to get an encounter card, whether we want it or not. So we've got that done. Then six cards for each of us, starting with Iron Heart. See what she can get started with. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, no quarter, Ingenuity, that's a keeper. Tigra, Spider Girl, Brawn, and a Dive Bomb. Um, we'll go for the low cost ally, pitch the other four. Two, three, four. Pitch back, Strength, Marvel Boy, and a Photon Beam. Then for Sam slash Nova, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, that doesn't count against her hand size. So we've got our helmet, which we're gonna auto discard. Clear the area we don't need. Pot shot's not bad. Power of Justice and Wiccan's not bad. All right, so that doesn't count against her hand size. Three more cards. Got some Flight, Nova Force, and Wasp. So starting off, we are going to bring in some Ingenuity. Play only if your identity has a genius trait, which we do. Max one per player. So resource, exhaust this to generate a mental resource. So we'll bring that in and go ahead and create that mental resource so we can uh, get a progress token on her. Then we're going to bring in Spider Girl. Four to one, attack of two, two health. After you play her from her hand, stun and confuse a minion, but we don't have minions yet. Come in and attack for two, which takes off the toughness that I didn't put on the card there. Then we'll flip over and attack for two. Down to 28. And holding on to the photon beam for next turn, hopefully. All right, we're gonna do his alter ego action, pitching a wild resource to go looking for a helmet. 
Since we spent a wild, we get to put it in play. So we gain the aerial trait. As a hero resource, exhaust it to generate a wild resource. Then we'll flip over. Use that for pot shot. Double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. It's a hero action, deal four damage to an enemy. Down to 24. Then we'll attack for one, which will ready that. Then we're gonna bring in Wasp, four to two, attack of one, three health. Play only if your identity has a champion trait, which we do. Uh, she ignores keyword, uh, patrol, in crisis and guard. So coming into play, then we're gonna bring in Wiccan, four to one, attack of one, three health. After he thwarts, discard the top card of the encounter deck for each boost icon discarded this way, deal a damage to an enemy. And attacking for one and attacking for another one. And so down to 21. And each of them gets their damage. And we'll end our turn. Going to keep this on this side, hand size of four. So we've got Thor, a flyover, and power of regression. And over here, pot shot, Quasar, Jesse Alexander, another pot shot, and some energy. So Kang gets to do his stuff. We're getting two threats. So attacking over here, we are going to defend. So whenever he attacks, place a threat on the main scheme or give him plus two to the attack. We'll give him plus two, so base five, six damage. Then on this side, we are going to have him attack Wasp for base five, six, seven damage. Then get some additional encounter cards. First one, Depowered Obligation. Cannot play hero-specific cards. It's an alter ego action. Discard a hero-specific card from your hand to discard this obligation. And Treachery Insight 1. I can get my tokens. Each player searches encounter deck and discard pile for a different obligation and reveals it. Shuffle the encounter deck. All right, we found two different obligations. So, Stolen Memories. Uh, place the top eight cards of your deck face down under this card. As an alter ego action, discard a mental resource from your hand to discard this obligation. We're gonna put that over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And over here, we're going with Weakened. After you use a basic power, take a damage, alter ego action, discard a physical resource from your hand to discard this obligation. All right, then over here, depowered. So same thing as that, can't play hero specific cards. And weakened. Pass first player. Well, this isn't going well. Pot shot is so nice, but we can't play uh, hero specific cards. We are going to get a resource there to bring in Quasar. Thor to one, attack for two, three health. After enters play, remove a threat from each scheme in play. And we're loaded with our specific cards. So we're gonna have Wiccan, thwart for one. Use his ability and deal two damage. Ooh, that's nice to see go away this way. Down to 19 health. Then Quasar, thwarting for one. Not worth taking the damage, so we're just gonna flip over. Discard a mental resource to take care of this one and discard each face down card under that. See what all we lost. Colson, some nice resources, and Miss Marvel. Then a hero specific card. We've got two pot shots in hand. We're still depowered and can't do anything about that. Um, I'm just gonna flip over. Discard a Hero specific card to get rid of depowered. 
I'm gonna spin the wild as a physical to get rid of weakened. Then use that to get a counter. So not a productive turn at all. We need a physical resource. So to help get that, I'm gonna pitch that. So draw up to his hand size. First card we get. Two, three arrows, four shield projection, clear the area, spy craft, and multitasking. Plenty of physicals there. Now we're gonna keep both of those, get four more. Throg, Tony Stark AI, and Photon Beam, and Power of Regression. All right, two threat. Scheming for base one, two. And scheme over here for base one and two. And counter cards. Gain surge since we're an alter ego. Ancient warrior, schema one, attack of two, two health, quick strike, but we're not a hero, so not attacking. And surge, time travel tactics. Each player takes an indirect damage for each obligation in the play area. Well, glad we got that whittled down a little bit. So taking one damage down to nine. Surge into the villain's gonna scheme for one, two, three. So up to nine, pass first player. I'm gonna use Ingenuity as a resource to help bring in our AI. Exhaust it, look the top two cards of your deck, add one to your hand and discard the other. Um, I like the Photon Blasters. So we're gonna go ahead and bring those into play. It gets us plus two health. So here our action, exhaust photon blasters, deal damage to an enemy equal to Ironheart's version number, which is one. So we'll go ahead and flip over, um, deal one damage up here down to 18 and attack for two. Yeah, over here. Bring in a Throg, four to one, attack for two and two health. Do you play? Give him a tough status card if we were engaged with a minion. We were not. He's going to come in and attack for two. Down to 16. Then over here, discard a physical resource to get rid of weakened. Go ahead and flip over. Going to use that to help pay for arrows. Four to two, attack of one, two health. After he enters play, we can fuse a minion for each mental resource he used to pay for him. Could have been one, but no minions in play. And have him thwart for two. Have him thwart for one. And Wiccan thwart for one. And his ability dealing zero damage and goes away. Then we will thwart for one. Which readies that. And we're going to remove two threat from a scheme. And clear the area, remove two threat from a scheme. If this removes the last threat on the scheme, draw a card. Drawing into force field projection and ender turn. And we're gonna go ahead and discard that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, genius, sense of justice, light speed flight, yaw and roll and some determination. Over here, still just getting four. Jets, the Locust, Stroke of Genius, and Ronnie Williams. Two threat, attacking, um, defending. So base five, because we're always given to plus two when we're defending with our minions. Um, so six, seven damage, Throg is gone. Same thing over here with Eros, base five, six damage. And encounter cards, Surge. Player takes one indirect damage for each obligation in their play area, which is zero. 
And Microbots, Schema 1, Attack 2, 4, Health, Guard, and Retaliate 1. And his brother. All right, we're going to use that to pay for the flight. Double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. Hero action, remove three threat from a scheme. Then we will attack for one here, which readies that. We get retaliated on. Then Quasar attacks for two. And gets retaliated on. Then we'll bring in Sense of Justice, play under any player's control as a resource, exhaust it to generate a mental resource for a thwart event. And actually, instead of using that to pay for it, I'm going to use this and y'all. Then we're going to flip over. Then over here, use this ability. Got a fly over and a dive bomb. Fly over does no good when there's no threat on the board. So we'll keep dive bomb. We are going to play the locust. Play only if your identity has a champion trait, which we do. After the locust enters play, add an aggression red event from your discard pile to your hand. And we're using stroke of genius. After you spin this card, place a progress counter on your identity and draw a card. So we're going up to three. Drawing into Hone Technique, and we get a red event. Which I guess we'll use a pitch back. We are going to deal one damage over here. We will attack for two. Get retaliated on, down to nine. Then we're going to bring in our Jets, getting plus two health up to 11. Solstice to remove threat from a scheme equal to our version number. Then we're going to flip over, use this to help bring in Ronnie Williams, heal two damage from her. As an alter ego action, we can heal two damage from Riri or place a progress counter on her. I um, think we're going progress counter. And end the turn. We're going to keep those. So Nova Force, y'all enroll, under surveillance, and light speed flight. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, dive bomb, photo beam, salt training, stroke of genius, new and improved, and genius. Two threats, scheming for four. Turn that in for five, scheme over here for four and another five or one. So we're up to 11. Counter cards. Let's see, one reveal, discard the highest cost card you control, then place it face down under this card. It's an alter ego action, discard an energy resource from your hand, discard this obligation, discard the card underneath of it. Time travel hijinks. And over here, stolen memories. So we're losing the top eight cards of our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Magically, we have eight. So discard a mental resource from our hand to discard that. Also gets us an encounter card because now we need to shuffle. And discard each event from your hand. If no events were discarded this way, this card gains Surge. So manipulated time stream. So bummer, losing the three good cards. And pass player. Well, the one card we can play, we're gonna pitch to take care of this. See what's left in there. And for that ability, we're going to use this. And after you spend it, place another progress counter on our identity. So we're going to get two more. 
one for the ability and one for this card, and we draw a card. And to Marvel Boy, we'll use our AI over here. No quarter or power of aggression. We'll take the aggression. We're going to recover for three to 14 because we're 10 plus two plus two. Use that to get a token, flip over, spend six counters. That is going to ready her and swap her for version two. Version two has a Thor to two, attack of two, three health, still needs six progress counters. After that, ready her. If she gets a tough status and we swap with version three, hand size of five is going to be nice. Then we're going to bring in Marvel Boy. Four to zero, attack of two, two health. Uh, when he attacks, spend a physical resource. This attack gains piercing and ranged. And he'll attack for two to take care of this. Then we're going to get a thwart problem. Thwart for one. No, we're going to attack for one. I don't want to kill her. Down to 15. We will thwart for two. Then blasters. Uh, dealing two damage to an enemy. Down to 13. Jets to remove threat equal to our version, which is two. All right, we're going to discard an energy resource to take care of this one. Flip over. Use that to help pay for under surveillance. Increase the target threat value of attached scheme by four, attaching it to the main scheme. So it goes to 18 now. Then we're going to thwart for one to ready this. Then use that. Double the number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. Remove three threat from a scheme. And end our turn. Hope we're getting Ironheart built up somewhat. A little slower than I'd hoped. Um, we're going to keep Genius. Go ahead and pitch that. Draw a card. Connection to the World Mine. Doesn't count against our hand size. Does get us an encounter card. So we've got four more cards still coming. So the thing about taking Plant King is it takes a while. And both these characters need a little setup. But I haven't played King for, seems like, forever. All right, y'all enroll, pot shot, clear the area, and wasp, along with our card that doesn't count against our hand size. Over here, keeping genius, stroke of genius, strength, power regression. Oh, oh, one card we can pay for. Two threat, attacking over here, Marvel Boy defends, so base five, six damage. Attacking over here, Locust defends, base five, you are stunned. And that is over on this side. All right, deal out some encounter cards. Corrupted time stream, players cannot trigger alter ego Action abilities on obligations. When revealed, each player must either discard a random card from the hand or place two threat here. Starts with a base two. I'm just going to put six threat up here. So two from each of them and two from the card. Then when revealed, place two threat here for each obligation to play. We're pinned down. No obligations in play at least. So two threat on that one. Figures, we get side schemes after I pitch the card that lets him ready and draw cards. All right, Temporal Shield, attached to Kang. When he's attacked, discard Temporal Shield, prevent all damage from this attack and deal on damage to the attacker. Pass first player. All right, first thing, we're gonna use that, clear the area, remove two threat from a scheme. If it removes the last threat on that scheme, we're gonna draw a card. Draw 
Drawing into the power of justice. We're going to thwart for one to take care of this. After that, we're going to trigger this first. Then we have the aerial trait. Uh, after your hero thwarts, remove three threat from a scheme. Then we're going to play Wasp, four to two, attack on three health. Play only if your identity has a champion trait. We do. She ignores guard, patrol, and the crisis icon. She's going to come in and thwart for two. Actually, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, instead of thwarting for two, Going to attack for one to take care of this thing. And she takes the damage for that. Because now I can play Pot Shot. Double the number of resources for paying for this card if they're wild. Deal four damage to an enemy. Down to nine health. Then Thwart for two. Use this to remove two threats. Use this, which is not an attack, for two damage. Down to seven. Use that to look at two cards. And yeah, keep fly over. And use it. Remove three threat from a scheme. Place a progress counter on Iron Heart. Two. If uh, Thwart removes the last threat from that scheme, so removing three and getting two counters. Then we'll use Ingenuity to help pay for Brawn. Thwart to two, attack of three, three health. While he's exhausted, he gains resource, generate a mental resource once per phase. And we're going to get a progress counter and draw a card because of that. Into Thor. Then we're going to attack for three, down to four health. Use his resource to help bring in Thor. Thor to one, attack three, three health, toughness. When Thor attacks a minion, engage with the player, spend a energy resource, resolve this attack against each minion engage with that player. Then we're going to flip over and give herself another counter. And end her turn. Over here, keeping genius. Arrows, spycraft, yaw and roll, and endurance. Over here, getting six cards. Wait, did I bring in the wrong one? Nope. Yeah, six cards. I'm in alter ego. Sorry. Forgot where I was. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sector scan, Tigra, Throg, Spider Girl, Photon Beam, and Honed Technique. So two threats. Attacking over here. Wasp defend, space five, six, seven, damage coming. The wasp leaves. Scheming over here for one, two, three. And counter cards. Ooh, a T Rex. Schema zero. Attack three, six health, toughness. It's attacks gain piercing. And the macrobots are back. Pass first player. All right, let's see here. Gonna use our ability. Got a dive bomb and a photon beam. We'll keep the dive bomb. I'm gonna use Ronnie to get a counter. I oh, forgot I'm stunned. I'm gonna keep the photon beam. Thought I was gonna get that to work. So in that case, we're gonna use that to get another counter. We'll go ahead and flip over, attack to get rid of stunned. Spin six. To ready her, make her tough, and swap her with version three. 
So now I've got a four to three, attack of two, defense of three. As a hero action, remove a counter from her to deal two damage to an enemy. Which we will do to get rid of tough. We're going to photo beam, deal four damage to an enemy. Uh, place a progress counter on Ironheart too if we defeat that enemy. Defeating. Get two counters. We're going to use a counter to deal two damage. Then do another photo beam for four damage and get two more counters. So we did two from that. Four takes care of him. Two counters. Let's see, removing three threats since we're in our third version. Doing three damage, down to one health. And attack for two. So that's going to defeat him. So advance the main scheme to stage two at the end of the phase. So we've got nothing to do for a little bit, except build up. So on this side, we're just going to bring in arrows. And an endurance to give us plus three health. And in the phase, discarding down. We'll hold on to that. So pitch back, fly over, counter card, shuffle. And three more cards coming our way. Bug, Assault Training, and a Dive Bomb. And over here, Power of Justice, Light Speed Flight, some more Flight, Yawn Roll, and Connection to the World Mind, doesn't count against our hand size, and Coulson. All right, Master of Time, when revealed, place an acceleration token here for each side scheme and play. Then discard each side scheme. Each player reveals a random stage 3A in turn order. Remove any unused stage 3 schemes from the game. So on this side, force interrupt. When an acceleration token would be placed on another scheme, place it here instead. Players cannot join this game area unless there are no other game areas remaining. When all the players have joined this game area, advance to stage 4A. So this goes away. And the way I do this, since these are dual-sided, is I grab all the version twos, shuffle them, and then separate them, and then go find their scheme that they come with. So Ironheart's gonna be fighting Ramatut. Schema two, attack three, toughness. Gets plus one attack for each obligation in play. When defeated, remove the realm of Ramatut from the game. At the end of the phase, join another game area. So 22 health. So we are splitting sides. So this game area is just Ramatut and Ironheart. And then Nova is going after Mortis. Scheme of three, attack of two, toughness. Villain cannot take damage while a minion is in play. When defeated, remove the Chronopolis from the game and 22 health here. So I'll set that up there. These are removed from the game. Give him some health. Find their main schemes. All right, create your own game area, add King to the game, and deal yourself an encounter card. So after this stage is completed, place the set aside King's Dominion face down under 4A. At the end of the phase, remove Kang and Mortis this stage from the game and combine your game with another one. If all the players at this stage are defeated, this stage is completed. Cut doesn't come in with any threat and it just gets plus one threat. May not forget all these people are tough. Then over here, same thing. We're getting another encounter card. And over here, pretty much the same text, except we are starting with one threat. All right, so now Ramatut is attacking here. 
They get threat first. Tut's attack in, we're gonna have Thor defend. So base three, attach to your identity. When attached character would be wood ready, discard this card instead, we're frozen in time. It's always a bummer. Attacking over here, base two. Eros is gonna take it and go away. Then deal some more encounter cards. And that gets us an acceleration token and shuffle. All right. Place four thread on each side scheme. We don't have any. If there are none, we're going to go dig until we find one. Oh, that got lucky, kind of. See, Rampage, four threat, discard cards from a top of the encounter deck till a minion is discarded. Put that minion in play and engage with the player who defeated the side scheme. Uh, we'll set that up a little bit. Then surge and reveal the top card of the encounter deck. We're weakened. To use a basic hero power, take a damage, alter ego action, discard a physical resource to discard this obligation. Then the villain's gonna attack us. Oh yeah, he lost his tough earlier. So it's base three, four, give Kang his tough status card. He already has one, we lose our tough. And then Ancient Warrior comes in, schema one, attack two, two health and quick strike. So we get hit for two. Then over here, the villain's gonna scheme for three, four, five. And energy blast, we're in hero form, Kang attacks you. Well, we're just gonna take it. Base two, three damage. Down to eight health and pass first player. All right, we're gonna use this. Light speed flight, double number of wild resources generated while paying for this card. Hero action, remove three threat from a scheme. Then we'll attack for one. Get rid of tough. Ready's this. Use that again to remove three threat from a scheme. Then Agent Coulson, four to two, attack at one three health. Three enters play, search your deck and discard pile for a preparation card and add it to your hand and shuffle her deck. I think the only one I have in here is Spycraft. So we'll use that, using that to pay for it. Play only if you control spy character, which Coulson is. And reveal an encounter card, discard Spycraft, cancel the effects of that card and discard it, then reveal another card from the encounter deck. And then Coulson will attack for one. Down to 21. Okay. We are gonna spend a token to deal two damage to take care of that. Ingenuity to bring in honed technique. Oops, need another mental. There we go. One mental, two mentals requirement, max one per player. When you play an aggression attack event, if you paid for that using a mental resource, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So at least got that in play. User AI, Tiger and a Photon Beam. Uh, I guess we'll take the Photon Beam. Then we're gonna do a flyover, remove three threat from a scheme, and then we're gonna get two progress counters because we're gonna remove all the threat from a scheme. And we will thwart for three. Uh, let's see, wait a second. Paying for that card. Um, we're gonna use that one instead, keeping the physical in our hand. So we're gonna take a damage from that. Brawn will thwart for two. 
That's going to bring out a minion. Eventually. With quick strike, of course, down to nine. Then we'll go ahead and kill it. And flip over. Discard a physical resource to get rid of weakened. Now, I guess before we flip over and do that, um, probably didn't need to use brawn. Should have used brawn to attack. Anyway, we'll use that to get rid of tough. And that to get a counter. And end her turn. Won't ready instead. Oops. Get rid of frozen in time. One, two, three, four, five, six. No quarter times two, Marvel Boy, power of aggression times two, and some strength. Over here, one, two, three, four, five. Downtimes, some flight, quasar, multitasking, and unleash Nova Force. So two threats on each. Attacking over here, Colson defends for base two. Kane gets tough. Scheming over here for two, three, four. Up to six. Counter cards. Discard an upgrade or support you control. Um, not cool. Guess we're going to lose endurance and lose the three health. Down to five. Over here, he's got a temporal shield, so whenever we deal damage, he prevents it and he deals one back to the attacker. And pass first player. All right, we're gonna use the AI, see what we can draw into. Genius and Spider Girl. Um, we'll take the genius. Then we're gonna use that to heal two, up to 11. Ingenuity to get us another counter. Go ahead and flip over. Brawn is going to attack for three and then take a damage and go away. Let's see. Jets remove three threat. Thor attack for three down to 19. Two consequential photon blasters to deal three down to 16. No quarter. Uh, we're getting two wilds for this since we, it's a red card. We're going to make one physical and the other mental to trigger that. So we're actually dealing six damage with this. Down to 10. Do the same thing again for six damage, down to four. And then we're going to bring in Marvel Boy. Let's see, when he attacks, well, four to zero, attack two, two health. We can spend a physical resource to get piercing and ranged. So he'll come in and attack for two. And then we're going to spend a token to defeat that. So when defeated, remove the realm of Ramatut from the game. This goes away. At the end of the phase, join another game area. So at the end of this phase, we're going to join over in the fight against Immortus. We're going to use that to help bring in Quasar. Toward one, attack two, three health. After you earners play, remove a threat from each scheme in play. Uh, 
And we're going to unleash Nova Force, max one per round, hero action till the end of the round each time Nova defeats an enemy or removes the last threat from a scheme. Ready Nova and draw a card. So Nova's going to thwart for one, which readies this. It was the last threat on there, so it's going to ready him and draw a card into a pot shot. Then he'll attack for one to get rid of tough. Use that to bring in a pot shot to deal four damage to an enemy. We paid with a wild. Down to 17. And then he'll attack for two down to 15. And we'll go ahead and end her turn. So over here, we're going to keep genius. That's the way. Got a photon bomb or beam, frog, pitchback, helicarrier, and some energy. One, two, three, four, five. Quake, energy, projection, investigator, and some strength. We're going to combine everything, so 15 health. So it's just one, not per player, so we're getting two threats because of the acceleration. I'm going to attack over here. Marvel Boy is going to defend for one, two, three. Attack over here. Uh, Quasar is going to defend for three. And counter cards. Got some bots. And obligation. To use a basic hero power, take a damage, alter ego action, discard a physical resource from your hand, and discard this obligation. And pass first player. All right, we're going to bring in Quake, Thwart 1, Attack for 2, 2 Health, after Minion Schemes, Exhaust her to deal 2 damage to that Minion. And... Attacking for 2, so the Guard only applies over here, down to 13. And bring in a Skilled Investigator, after Side Scheme is defeated, as a Hero Response, Exhaust this to draw a card. Then we're going to flip over. Discard a physical resource to get rid of weakened. And then recover for three up to eight health. Then we're going to photon beam, deal four damage to an enemy and get two progress counters because we're going to defeat the enemy. Then use some AI. Flyover or Stroke of Genius. We're going for a Stroke of Genius. Photon Blasters for three damage, down to 10. Uh, jets to remove three threat. Let's see. It's late in the game, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna bring in a Helicarrier. It's also it, choose a player, reduce the resource cost. The next card that player plays is phased by one. We're also going to get a progress counter and draw a card since we're using Stroke of Genius. Drawing into a pitch back. We will attack for two. Actually, before we attack, we're going to make the next card we play one cheaper. Attack for two, down to eight. We have the aerial trait. After your hero attacks, deal four damage to an enemy. Down to four. Actually, that was one cheaper because of the helicarrier. Now we use Throg for the other one. After hero attacks, deal another four damage. Defeats this version of Kang. All right. So in... That took care of this. So we all go back to that. So at the end of the phase, we go back to that. So we're just going to ready and draw up. So 
So we're going to keep strength, drawing five more cards. Wiccan, clear the area, clear the area. Miss Marvel and force field projection. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dive bomb, sector scan, another bomb, new and approved, stroke of genius, and no quarter. All right, so now we're going to stage 4A. When revealed, reveal Kang and add him to the game. Reveal each face down Kang's dominion under this stage. There aren't any. So Kang, toughness, when he attacks you, either place a threat on the main scheme or he gets plus two attack for this. When defeated, the players won the game. Comes in with 25 health per player. So now we just need to do 50 damage. And on the other side here, each player searches counter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for the Nemesis minion, puts it in play gauge with them, and then shuffle the encounter deck. All right, so for Ironheart, we get Lucia, Schema 2, Attack of 1 for health. While she has a tough status card, she gets plus 1 Scheme and Attack. Force response after the villain phase ends, give her a tough status card. And then for Sam, Warbringer, Schema 1, Attack 3, 5 health. When he attacks you, he gets plus 1 Attack for that attack for each card with a printed wild resource in your hand. That attack gains overkill. All right, start of the villain phase. We are getting two threat. Getting attacked over here. Thor is going to take his, so base five, six, seven damage. And we're getting attacked for one here. Scheming for base three, four, five, plus one. Actually, I went backwards there, but it's not going to matter. I don't think. Nope. All right. Encounter cards. Depowered. Can I play here specific cards? Alter Ego action. Discard one to get rid of this. And over here, T-Rex is back with toughness and six health. And pass first player. All right, we're going to use this to get rid of tough. Oh, end of the phase, she got tough. We'll get rid of that with this one, too. Make her next card one cheaper. Dive Bomb. Play only if your identity has an aerial trait. We do. Hero action, deal, one, deal seven damage to an enemy. Deal one damage to each other enemy. But with this... Uh, when you play an aggression attack event, if you paid for that using a mental resource, which we are, increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So we're going to be dealing 11 damage to one enemy and 5 to each other enemy. And we're going to get a progress counter and draw a card. Progress, drawing into new and improved. So 11 damage here, down to 39. And five damage to everybody else. Then we will attack for two. With Ingenuity, play new and improved. Choose X different options where X is equal to Ironheart's version number. Search your deck for an Ironheart card and add it to your hand. Then we're going to get tough and ready Ironheart. So we're ready. We're tough. We look through our deck, and our only one we have is a photon beam. And probably should have done that first before I did that. Oh, well. We're going to remove three threat from a scheme. We're going to deal three damage to an enemy, down to 36. We're then going to attack for two, down to 34. Then we're going to flip over and gain a token. Over here, discard a specific card. Then flip over. 
Use that to clear the area, removing two threat from a scheme. Thwart for one. Which readies that. Use it again to clear the area. This time we're removing everything, so we get to draw a card. Into a pot shot. Then we're gonna bring in Wiccan and attack for one. Down to 33. And we'll go ahead and end her turn there. We're gonna keep pot shot. Drawing four more. Unleash Nova Force, Determination, Sense of Justice, and Jesse. And over here, keeping the beam. And the Locust, get in a counter card and shuffle one. We've got four more cards coming. Oops. One, two, three, four. Power progression, pitchback, genius, and Thor. Not the damage I was looking for. So we get three threats. Scheming over here for three, four, five. Attacking over here, Quake is gonna defend for five, six. This card gains additional for each obligation. Six damage. Counter cards. Surge, each player takes an indirect damage for each obligation in their play area. We don't have any. Surges into, now we've got one. Discard the highest cost card you control. And that's a good reason to have a Helicarrier when you have Hone Technique, I guess. So Helicarrier goes under that. Then this guy comes in with Quick Strike, but we're an Alter Ego. And over here, a Soldier. And pass first player. We are going to unleash Nova Force till the end of the round. Each time Nova defeats an enemy or removes a last threat from a scheme, ready Nova and draw a card. And after you spin this card, remove a threat from the main scheme. Then we're going to use that for a pot shot to deal four damage to an enemy. Actually, yeah, that works. We're gonna draw a card after we get an encounter. Can't remember. This probably would have applied earlier. Discard the highest cost card. It's gonna be Spycraft. No, it's coming out either way. Oh well. Actually, instead of killing that one, I want to kill this one. No, take that back. I don't know what I'm thinking anymore. Um, we're going to attack for one over here. Then Nova attacks for one over here, defeats it. Ready, ready, draw a card, clear the area. Use that to remove two threats from here. Then we'll go ahead and thwart for one more. Which readies that and just not using it. Then on this side, get a token. Spend a mental to get another token. Use this to look at two cards, and we'll keep new and improved. Then flip over. See, so attack for two, down to 31. See, so do we have enough? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's going to reverse those down to 13 health. And 
Uh, remove three threat. Deal three damage down to 10. Photon beam to deal four damage and get uh, one more counter. Down to six health. Just made an attack. After your hero attacks, deal four damage to an enemy. Paying with a mental, so we're dealing five damage. Down to one. And we can spin that to finish it off. And if needed, we had Thor coming in who could have hit for three more. So that was Ironheart and Nova taking on an expert Kang. As always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.